We're both very passionate about wanting this job. Over the course of the last 12 weeks, what I've seen from you, Stella, is, is that clearly you are a great organiser of people. You do know how to handle your teams. You handled that boys' team tremendously in the second week. Well liked and I think determined to get on with whatever you're asked to do. I also have taken note of from where you have come. The fact that at an early age you never had all these qualifications and all that type of stuff and then went out of the way to train yourself and get yourself back into education and get yourself the job that you've got. That shows me a lot of determination. Chris, you're young, but that could be a good thing. It could be that I have a green shoot. You've shown throughout the course of this 12 weeks some great entrepreneurial ideas. Some of them a bit wacky and some of them quite good. One of you is going to be very disappointed. I don't worry about the other person because I think that we have two great people here and they can hold their head up high, whatever. But it's a tough decision and the decision that I've come to is that Stella, you're high. Stella from Thamesmead could be the winner of The Apprentice is unbelievable, but I've always believed it in my heart that I could do something great. Uh, it's just convincing other people, but I have now, and nobody can take that away from me. And I'm so excited about the future. It's all been worth it. All that blood, sweat and tears I've got through to the end, and I'm just so happy. 16 candidates, one job. Lord Sugar's search for his apprentice is over.